What's going on, everybody? We're going to do another War of the Spark sealed event. And, um, what are these the same thing? Sealed War of the Spark? Sealed War of the Spark? I'll click on it. And, uh, this is the, uh, the streamer early access War of the Spark event from Wizards of the Coast. This is a sponsored stream, and, uh, thank you so much to Wizards of the Coast for, for inviting us and supporting us. Really appreciate that. Karn's Bastion. All right. Deliver unto evil. Probably not good. Solar Blaze, probably good. Rollesque, again, pretty good. Planar Wide Celebration seems nuts and limited. And Bioessence Hydra, oh boy, I hope we have some good Simic things. Because these are all very, very good cards. Let me get your old one. No. No, we good. We good. I like my old one. I just wanted two different colors. So now I have like a, con I have a, a Cognac one and a uh, an Emerald one. This, this color is great. And look, it comes with a, a little, uh, comes with a little card. It's a Norwegian design. Hmm. Good stuff. Okay. So, I don't know why I got that. Alright, so we're going to be looking towards Simic here. Exile permanent you control, return to the battlefield. This is nice to just save a guy. It does make me wish that, like, like... If this says when it dies, proliferate, then proliferate again. I wish it was when it left the battlefield, proliferate and proliferate again. Because then, like... This is probably just playable, right? Karn's Bastion seems great and limited. Gain life field of the greatest. Each creature you control... No, that card, that's... This is actually not a good Planeswalker. I don't think you read my comment right. I said, let me get your old one. I don't think you read my comment. I said, let me get your old... I don't think you read my... Is that just... Was that supposed to be more threatening? Like, I don't think you read my comment right. I said, let me get your old one. Was that how it was supposed to be? Because that's 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 pretty funny. Uh, Huatli's Raptor. When it enters the battlefield, proliferate. Again, this card's good, but now we got to go into three colors again. That's great. Arlen's good. That guy's good. This guy's good. That guy's good. That card. The, the band together is great. You're a smart guy. You don't need two wallets. Capiche? Oh, well, maybe you're right. I guess I don't need two wallets. Based on the last two rounds where I lost to the 2-2 flyer, um, one of them had S uh, Feather and one of them had Niv-Mizzet, I kind of want the, the green card that just destroys an, uh, an enchantment. Or no, a flyer. Especially because this format's basically like you get one chance. You only get one shot. Bond of each of its top four cards of the library in the graveyard turns to instant sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. I'm play 24 months. I'll say some really bad effing words in here. I don't. I don't think I was recording at the time, but I just showed off a new wallet I got. It's a. Uh, it's called. It's called an Exentry, and it has a little clasp here, so you can just open it up, and then it's a trifold, and it's. It's a nice. It's a nice emerald green color. But uh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Kazmina's transmutation seems great. I'll play two of those dudes. I probably want Jace's triumph, even if it's just a divination. This guy's good. That guy's great, actually. Um, do we already have? No, we didn't put the Teferis. Teferis, this is actually nice because it proliferates. Like, you can actually blink your Bloom Hulk, and then when it comes back with a counter, and then you can proliferate onto it, so that's pretty sweet. Um, is there anything white that we're kind of interested in? Eh, Teo seems kind of meh. Oh, but Teo's light shield. Oh, uh, don't care about any of these things. Well, we got Teo and the Wander, both of which are pretty, pretty, pretty not great. I mean, the Wander is actually not bad. Exile creature with power four or greater. That seems pretty sweet and limited. I also don't hate bonds of discipline. Again, not super easy to play. You reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. I don't actually think this is great in limited. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. 
That's fine. I accept being wrong. Nars, what does Narset do? Like each each one can't draw more than one card each turn. It's pretty pretty low impact. And look at the top four cards. You can reel a non-creature and non-land card from it. And like I, I don't think we're gonna hit that frequently, since limited decks are mostly creatures and lands. Like doesn't really seem great. Ob's cruelty is nice. Oh, the bad Mystic Snake, which is Crush Descent. I mean, it's all right. Jaya's Greeting, we have one of. So, like, this is one of the good removal spells. This is one of the good removal spells. But, like, we're not going to play five colors. But maybe. We have Centaur Nurturer. And we have two Mana Geodes, technically. But if we're playing white, we're probably going to play Huatli's Raptor because it's a 2 3 for 2 that proliferates, I guess. <sighs> Some of these Planeswalkers are just bad and limited, which is really funny. Can we actually make I mean, I don't want to I don't want to build around this card if if we only have one and then it just dies. But then again, we do have Bioessence Hydra. How many cards is this better with? It's worse with this, better with this. Worse with the wolf. Hmm. Hawali says each creature deals uh, you assign you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. It's basically just an arcades, and uh, then you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control if you activate her. Hawali is bad, but I do have Bioessence Hydra, so I kind of want to maximize. What's Butt Waker? Yeah, Dovin's Veto is probably pretty good. I could see just playing Tail. Like, we want to maximize this Bio Essence Hydra. Grateful Apparition seems good, too. Hmm. Let's add a Grateful Apparition and a Teo. We'll see how that works. Um, gonna cut one Plains, add another Forest. See how that goes. Uh, the Teo seems good because we have lots of things that go with it, like... Uh, lots of proliferate and bioessence hydra. So I'm trying not to. I mean, if you can just keep pl proliferating onto a onto a planeswalker while putting a bunch of walls into play to deal with it, um, that doesn't seem terrible. Also, I don't know that it's bad until I actually play with it and see how it actually functions in practice. I can open this Mortal Kombat while we wait. This seems like a keeper. Not a big Pollen Bright Druid fan in the opening hand. Let's just drop this guy. I'm gonna leave with a green because if you draw the raptor, the two three raptor, you get to get to play it. Alas, we did not draw that two three raptor. Probably not gonna play this out. I mean, it's a two two. It just doesn't seem good here, but we don't have anything else, so I can't even imagine like what the next thing we're gonna play is. 
Another land. That seems good. Well, they're on mono red apparently, so. Could be worse, I guess. Ooh, this is like a. This is one of the. This is like a steel case. I actually don't like owning physical media. I actually don't like that I have this. I would rather have. Oh, that's really good. Um, I would rather have all my stuff digital so that I don't, I don't have to keep track of cases. I don't have to swap discs in and out. Physical media is just really cumbersome and space. Cons it just takes up a lot of space. If you, if you don't like physical media, I know a guy who wants your wallet. That's not media, though. That's... I, I think you're confusing physical objects with media, my friend. Are we on my turn now? No. Okay. That's still hard to figure out. Okay, well, there you go. One Rolex, and you're good to go. Like, if I have 20 PlayStation 4 games, right, and, like, I own them physically, like, I have to have a whole drawer full of PlayStation 4 games, and if I have to, if I want to play one, I have to look through them all, find it, make sure the disc is in there, make sure it's not scratched, put it in the console, wait for it to load. If I own all those games digitally, not only can I, like, move them easily when I move my... my it's on my account. It's all stored. It's somewhere else. And I just literally select the game and load it up. You know, it's... I don't know. I, I got over physical... After having moved a few times and owning like 300 DVDs and Blu-rays that I literally never opened and watched, I was just like, this is really cumbersome. Why do you prefer games physical, if I, if I may ask? I'm sure I may, because it's not a really offensive question. Are we going to have to play Pollen, Pollen by Druid again? I guess it's fine, because we have Bloom Hulk, which proliferates. I have never noticed the digital or audio, a video, video or audio quality in digital versions versus uh, physical versions. Four mana, you get to look at the top card of your library if it's a creature or planeswalker and put it in your hand if you don't put the card in. Eh. If, invis if Wizards invited me to the Mythic Invitational, of course I would go. That would be insane not to go. I can't even imagine a reason why I wouldn't go. I'm going to play this on you. It lets us attack. It prevents you from drawing future cards. And if they have another creature, we have band together with like really, really big guys. So I think that's fine. They have alternate box art, but like, how many times are you looking at the box? Are you just like taking out the box and you're like, oh, okay, I'm done. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a weird, not well, not what you said, but like the, um, um, yeah, we're just gonna play this guy. Oh, so when I click, it's actually unselecting it because it automatically selects it all. That's interesting. If they invited me, but the one con the condition was that I have to own a physical copy of the MTG three MTG PlayStation three game and keep it on display, I think we I think we could do that. I would get it framed and I would hang it somewhere. 
I think Kesmina's transitation is going to see a ton of standard play because of how hard. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's actually very good. Oh, no, it's for sure me. There's nothing wrong with Okay. I appreciate you acknowledging that, though. Like, that you can tell the difference, and you're like, no, no, no. It's, I, I get it. All right, well. My uncle died a few years ago and left my father with literally 20,000 pieces of media. Right? Like, it's just so, it's so, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, you could be like, it was cool, we have all these memories. But on the other hand, like, that's so much, dude. And, like, the difference between going through 20,000 pieces of video files and 20,000 pieces of physical media is night and day. What? No, cancel that. That's not what I wanted to do. I thought we were in damage. I thought we were done. I want to play big crocs. Ocean Grahan. I don't, I don't think transferability is really a big deal. Like my, I sold, I literally sold DVDs recently at a, at like a game store, like a, a video store. I sold about 200 DVDs and I got 70 bucks for it. So like, I mean, yes, I had to carry around these DVDs for literally 20 years. These are, these are movies that I've had since like anywhere between, between 2000 and 2019, right? So like. This is 20 years of, like, DVD and Blu-ray collecting, and I sold them all for, like, 70 bucks. And I'm, like, having the space. Like, I had to have an entire other bookcase just to hold all these movies, right? And that that the, the cost of that is not worth the slim, minuscule chance that one day I may be awkwardly locked out of a Netflix account, right? Because, like... Okay, I mean... If you're going through basically League of Trauma to get access to your iTunes library, why don't you just get Spotify for 10 bucks a month, right? Like, I mean, it's 10 bucks a month. Like, everything that's in your in your iTunes library, wouldn't that be in Spotify? Like, that's what I don't understand. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, good times. What does this do? You get it back when it dies, right? Right, it's several years ago, but now, we're, now it's 2019, right? So, like, I mean, the the advantage has to go up, right? Sure, not everything's on Netflix, and I download the things, or I watch online the things that are not on Netflix. But I'm not going to buy a DVD for something that's not on Netflix, and then watch it one time, and then it's just going to sit there and, and take up space. Like, it just doesn't make sense. I guess we're just going to play this and not do anything with it. I mean, how many usernames and passwords are going to go? Probably a lot. But I mean, like, the other thing is, like, alternatively, I give them 30 PlayStation 4 games. Like, who gives a shit? No one in in 30 years who, who I would ever, in 60 years, whenever I die, I'm going to will my PlayStation 4 games to them. No one cares. I would rather write down one password than hold down, hold down 40 PlayStation 4 games. Like, you're talking about games, like, that take up this much space. Like, this much physical space over one password. Like, that's just silly. That's a silly distinction. I keep gutting my DVD collection because the, every time I go to my DVDs, I'm like, I've watched this movie one time, yet I've had it for 20 years. It makes no sense. I had, I, when I sold movies to the store, I actually had movies that weren't even opened yet. I just bought them because I'm like, oh man, I love this movie. This is great. Like, I'll see it in a theater and I'm like, yes. I really want to own this movie. And then I bought it, and I never actually watched it. And I was like, what's the point? What's the point of owning this? And they were like, well, the guy was buying it. He was like, how come this isn't opened yet? I'm like, never watched it. 
<laughs> I don't have to tell you. Seville Pippin, take it easy, buddy. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for the support, man. Grateful Apparition is nice. Yeah, this hand's fine. Also, especially because they mentioned that you will be able to play PS4 games on the PS5. Like, that even incentivizes me even more because now I can just... My account is still going to be fine. Like, I can still play those games on my PS5 when I get a PS5, right? So... Oh, wow. Next time we can play Aven Eternal, fly over, proliferate onto the, the Amass. Oh, this seems good. Seems nice. Oh, it is Numat. Nice. That's old Namoruski. I'm tempted to just band together and kill the O4, but I don't think we have to do that. <laughs> I've never dueled with this. Is what I trained for. Fascinating. I'm not of the impression he has any counter spells. Sweet wall token, thanks. I mean, the art's actually pretty sweet on this. Okay. Parental non combat damage. That would have been good. That would have been good. However, we would not have had it on board. So. Um. Yeah. They milled themselves, huh? Oh wow, another 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 cruelty, a counter spell, and a one two with a mass. Seems good. Fascinating. Instant and or sorcery cards. Seems good. I mean, our creatures have hexproof, right? Uh, or uh, our creatures printal, we print all, print all damage to the creatures, though. So. Unless they deal with the wanderer first, I think we're fine. Oh, they couldn't mill us because we have hexproof. Oh, that makes sense. That's good to know. Sure. Ocean man, take my mama hands. Five, six, seven. I kind of just want to transmute this because they have two cards. One of them is a blank, essentially. I think we're fine here. I have no reason to do either of these. Uh, this I have no targets for, and this I don't have. I don't have any reason to make another wall. So.
Elk Tears, it's funny how many channels you're actually banned on. Uh, you may return an online permanent if you do. Rescuer gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, they didn't bounce this and replay it? That's interesting. I mean, I assume they have a counter spell. The Wander printing all non-combat damage is pretty good against Enter the God Eternals. Woo! Oh, they didn't bounce because of the, the Wander could exile. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm banned from the following. Newmont's channel, Gabby's channel, the official Magic channel, and three separate accounts banned on LSV's channel. But I did get LSV to say I love Brett Kavanaugh live on stream. That's right, because you donated and he read the on screen well, that's unbelievable dude I think all your hijinks are pretty funny but every time I just knocked that trash can over and it was real loud it was real loud on the bright side no garbage fell out do we mulligan this hand even though we have Aven Eternal? I'll keep it. We're on the draw. I think it's fine. Oh, we drew it. We got there, guys. We did it. I'm tempted to just wait till we play Arlen to play Bio Essence Hydra, but... Hey, that's Mike's house you knocked over! Because <laughs> he lives in the garbage can. That's right. That's hilarious. cast your second spell each turn and put a 1-1 counter on this. What are the odds that's going to do anything? Like, nothing. I do like Geode here because it lets us p potentially hit a land and play Arlen next turn. But then Arlen just doesn't do that well. Hmm. Where this guy does proliferate onto here, giving us a 2-2. I don't think that's great, though. I'm just going to play the g -Gut. I want to be able to get Arlen Cord out. It's not Arlen Cord. It's Arlen Voice of the Pack, you see. If you're going to Starbucks, you can probably get me a strawberry refresher with uh, half water. I like to cut down on the water in there because sometimes it just tastes like Gatorade. Guys, you remember that time I knocked that trash can over? It was so loud. I 
Our opponent's doing very well for themselves. I'm very happy for them. I'm not gonna block anything. I'll probably just die. That's fascinating. So she goes down to five and they have, look at that, five things on board. Well, and that's something. We have one, two, three, four, five, six mana, so we can play this guy or this guy. It's probably this guy first. Could just be Arlen Cord. Makes a three, three. It's pretty good, right? It's not that good. Like, it might just be this guy. Mm, having a bad time, having a bad time. Actually, if we just play Arlen Cord next turn, doesn't this guy get plus seven? That seems good, right? What does Arlen do in this deck? You cast her and then she makes wolves for you. She makes three threes. I mean, it also combos with Bios inside here, but... You know. You can do whatever you like. Flux Channeler. Hey, that's pretty good. And then we died. Well, we're 3-1. Not bad. I'm gonna keep this hand. Aven Eternal just OP. Oh, we're playing as Werebear. That's actually a great name. I'm on it. I'm digging it. I'm d d d digging it. Uh, end game is the plan for this weekend for sure. Two two, huh? Hopefully I can draw another land and another green. So two lands. No blocks. I ain't no dummy. Well, that's a land, I guess. It lets us hit another land, so. Done. Keep them as McSneepums. Uh, our deck is okay. I don't know if it's insane. It's probably it's probably insane. We're gonna play Rolex. Oh, Mayhem Davilo. Put counters on this guy because if we proliferate, well, and it just makes it a four-four flyer. So, and if they kill this, we get to put two counters on each of these dudes. Woof. Alright, well, you got it. I'm sorry, wait, what? Exile instead. Phenomenal. 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 I mean, if they threaten him, what does that do? Oh, just so they can attack for four? Oh, because it's stealing my roll. Okay, that's pretty funny. 
Uh, I get it now. Uh, uh, no blocks here. I'm done now. By Soren's cruelty, I assume you mean Obnixilus's cruelty. Manamana. Big Papa Frank, what's going on? What's going on, me with the same name? Uh, probably one of my favorite cards from the new set is probably Niv Mizzet Rebornsies. That is a solid gentleman. Resolvo. Resolvo, make it 2 2. Yeah, band together is fantastic. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4. We are one mana shy of playing this and then proliferating onto everything. Seems good. If they can deal us five more points here, we're dead. That's pretty good. That's really freaking good. You will feel the lick of my flames. <laughs> Yikes for me, dog. Oh, we're just dead because this becomes a 4-4 four -four and then they have two. And then they also play a rare Chandra. So I guess we lose the game to rare Chandra, rare Sorin, or Sarkon. Should have played around the uncommon that makes me sacrifice a creature, I guess. Seems good. Uh, I guess we'll block. Yeah. Yeah, we're just dead. Wow, I already hate this format. <laughs> uh, wait, what, why can't I? There we go. All right, so three, two.
Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. Yeah, seems fine. I mean, the uncommon planeswalkers are fine. They're they're generally not that powerful. But the rare, when you have like multiple rare planeswalkers, like, it's kind of rough. Uh, I like Geode here over the wolf because it lets us uh, play. Yeah, keep that. It lets us play Hydra next turn, followed by Shield Mate, which makes it a 10 10. 9 9. Big, big. I'm sure it'll just die anyway, but whatever. I'm sure they're just gonna Obnixilus Cruelty this thing and it's gonna ruin all of our dreams. Chance to prove my skills. Nine nine. Who do you think the Wanderer truly is? I really don't think it's Elspeth. I think that seems that seems like a weird prediction because it doesn't look like Elspeth. Unless Elf Elspeth died, redid her hair, and then came back as a different like character. I don't know. I actually have no idea. I don't follow the lore close enough to know. Oh, Emrakul in human form. I like it. Ocean man, take me in my silent submarine hand. I'll block with my wall. Oh no, not my wall. No! Oh my Jesus. See, now I feel bad, because this is just busted. <laughs> Talk to the wall. Half. <laughs> Talk to the wall? Oh, because it's the wall. I gotcha. I thought that was the Hydra when it attacked. I was like, why is it saying that when it attacks? Why is the Hydra saying talk to the wall? I don't understand. I mean, if you draw your rare and your other mythic rare in the same game, I think you're, I think you're probably good. I think that's how you win this format. Why do you sound like you're a cast member on Saved by the Bell? Got him. Got him! Yeah, this hand seems fine. Two drops seem like they're at a premium in this format. Um, sure. So next time we can play Wolf. We're probably playing Wolf over Geode because we don't have a five drop on a ramp into. Oh man, big butts. It's only their creatures, right? This power for good. Yeah. That's 
pretty problematic, isn't it? Can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less. Okay, well, I guess that's a thing. Uh, I'll submit zero. No attacks. This is also a five-five, so it's actually a. Uh... Should we twist the nurple? <laughs> oh lord. Sure. Can I get the neg one, neg the make it a one one card? I guess not. I guess I cannot get that. It's fine, I guess. Oh boy. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either, so here we are. I guess we're just passing here. And making this a <laughs> making their 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 one three into a three three and their four five into a five five is pretty good. Like I don't even feel like if we even if, if we band together to kill the Kefnet, like it still comes back. And it's not really like they just double block here, right? This is hard to deal with. So are the gods, like... <laughs> oh, this format is very strange. Oh, they can't, yeah, they can't double block the wolf. But I mean, they wouldn't have to anyway, so. That's fine. Excuse me. Oh, seems good. Do you cast it? Four four, huh? Seems good. Seems good. Yep.
I think we can just go to one here. Like, it sucks, but I mean, I'd rather prevent, I'd rather take one extra hit and if they have, like, they could, because they could twist this, make it a seven. Oh, good. That's going to do it. Yep. That's the end. All right. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, losing to the gods here. Three losses. We have three losses? Was that a third loss? I guess it was. All right. All right. Well, 4-3. I guess it's not terrible. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, I am going to end this. And I want to say, check out manatraders.com. Check out meundies.com slash franklapore. Check out coolstuffinc.com. You, you can use the promo codes that are listed in the description. Frank5 for Cool Stuff Inc. Manatraders, the link in the description is below and you get 20% off any subscription for the first three months. And uh, MeUndies, you'll get 15% off along with free shipping. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out next time. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it.